What's up guys, Kyle Bradshaw here. And today I want to take you on a quick walk around on my KTM 950 Super Enduro that has been rigged. That's right, Nelson Rig and their Rig Gear Adventure products are now completely outfitted in the 950. And I'll talk to you a little bit about why I chose to do this. My tank bag was a European tank bag. I had Wolfman saddlebags, which were great, but they're getting a little bit long in the tooth. KTM saddle or tank bag that actually broke on my last trip, pretty sucky. So come in close and take a look at what I've currently got here on the bike. This is going to be their Hurricane tank bag. Now there's a couple features about this tank bag that I really like. Number one is the fact that it's waterproof. Number two, installation was super simple. It's basically a Y yoke that goes around the front neck of the motorcycle. And then we have two clips. So it's really easily attaches to the front of the bike here. In the back, we've got two more. It just comes down to the frame rail. And if I needed to get to the gas tank, simply pop it up and it's easily removed. Now moving, now moving to the inside, let's take a quick look. We've got a mesh pocket here that's see-through. You can put your phone or your map or anything else you want here on the top. Are you taking a nap? Okay, let me swing one more time. Ready, set, go. So your map could be here on the top. You've got a uh, mesh pocket here that you can see through on the inside. Now here on the inside of the bag, we actually have um, some separators. So you can move that separator forward and back. Now this bag does not expand. If you want an expanding bag, I recommend the Trails End Tank bag. That's actually stored in here, and I'll be promoing that here a little bit later in the trip. Hey, dangerous lady. Ready, set, go. The other thing I have in here is the Trails End, I mean, sorry, the Hurricane backpack. It's going to be a backpack and tail bag combo, which I'll be showing you here at a later date. Now, when it comes to the duffel bag, super easy attachment. Come on around here and I'll show you. Uh-oh. You basically have a girth hitch here that goes to any part of your motorcycle. Comes up and then the strap is gonna slide through here with a little bit of alligator teeth in order to keep everything secure and attached. So when you get where you're going, you basically have these four attachment points that get loosened up and the dead bag comes off the bike. Super, super simple and easy. Ready? Oh, wow, you threw it over the edge. Okay. Moving down to the saddlebag. Again, the saddlebag has all metal components so nothing's ever gonna break on you. Why you need your blanket? Why'd you throw it over the overboard, lady? That's silly. So we've got two two cam buckles right here that go around and attach to a rack or the frame of your motorcycle. And then you've got the two large Velcro pieces that go up over the top. It's actually gonna be the load weight or weight bearing part of this setup. Come on over and I'll show you real quick. So very industrially attached to the back here, we have these two very large pieces of Velcro. That are going to go across, so you can choose or have. <laughs> you can't keep throwing it over, Miss. You got to keep it on your lap. Ready, set, go. Anyhow, these uh, Velcro straps make it really easy to adjust these bags. They'll fit just about any motorcycle. Again, going across the top, two different spots, an attachment, two spots at the front, two spots at the back. Infinite adjustability when it comes to that. Now, another feature of the saddlebags that I really like is the fact that they come with. A nice saddlebag liner. So this has all of the clothing that I'm going to be wearing on this Moab trip. It's super easy. If I got to a hotel or want to throw it into my tent, really easy to get to. Just slides right in. Now, as full as you stuff this liner, the saddlebag is actually large enough to be able to accept it. So I've had some other saddlebags with liners in the past that if you actually fill the liner up, it doesn't fit into the saddlebag. But that is not the case with this Nelson Rig setup. Now, speaking of camping and sliding that out and putting it into a tent, in the roll bag right here, I actually have my full tent set up. And then in this saddlebag, I've got my sleeping bag, my roll, my pillow, and a jacket, just in case it gets cold. Now, inside the dry bags here, the roll bags here at the top, I've actually got my waterproof gear. So if it happens to get wet, rainy, or cold, I can easily and quickly get to that by unrolling the roll bag here. And pulling out my rain gear. Now the nice part about this is the fact that this doesn't have to come off the motorcycle in order to be able to access that rain gear and then once it's done raining I can simply slide it back into the end of the bag without ever taking this off of the motorcycle. I just roll this roll bag back up, secure it, and away we go. Again really convenient for things that you need to get to quickly and easily while on the road. Now all this gear is 100% waterproof. They've got welded seams, a really nice high quality PVC type COVID coated material so you're not going to have any problems with water getting into your gear. 
Now this is the first time that I've used the Rig Gear Adventure product. So I'm gonna be using it for the next 2,500 miles or so before I arrive back home in about a week or so. And uh, I'll be able to come back to you with a full detailed review and breakdown of just how well these products worked or what things I would recommend Nelson Rig do differently or changed on the next production run. Anyhow, I'm Kyle Bradshaw. That's just a quick walk around of the gear set that I've chosen for this current trip. Hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see next time. Until next time, and as always, take care, ride safe, and now I'm gonna go give the baby a swim. What? You dropped your blanket again? You crazy lady. Whee!